Hi everybody. Okay. Some of y'all serious snake people are probably gonna jump my ass because of what you're fixing to see. I don't really care. Because I have my own methods and I'm proven I'm not proven breeder, I'm a proven keeper. We're attempting our breeding this year. Um, this is not part of that, but we named her Catalina. She's a ball python, what they say is partial tiger. I'm not really familiar, so I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. That's not what this is about right now. Uh, but she is the top tub, so I always got to remove her. And we're going to get her out of the way. Okay, and I got to get one more tub ready. We've been separating our females and our males. And we put them together, and we try to put them together for a couple days at a time, and then take them out for at least a couple days at a time. So these are the empty tubs, and I was doing some cleaning and some taking some videos and stuff. Uh, so I'm getting ready to put my two big females back in their tubs. Kind of mix things up. They need a little humidity. I will be doing all my maintenance on all these tubs and stuff probably tomorrow when I get home from work. So here I got another tub over here. This is already gonna be ready for another female. Just kind of stir things around for today. But I separated my males and females the other day. And the only thing I really have when I'm doing separations and cleanings and stuff is this big custom tank that I built. So this is the part that everybody's probably going to freak out about. And trust me, this is only temporary. It doesn't happen all the time. I don't keep them like this. But in 30 years of keeping snakes of all kinds of different species, on occasion I haven't had much trouble. There, what did you got? Wait a minute, Ginger. Okay. This is going to be Scully. She has been hooked up uh, with two different males, actually, for at least about the last month. Three days on, three days off, sometimes four days, sometimes five days, whatever. I'm not real particular. Uh, I try to keep my animals happy. Both of these big female ball pythons that I have really had an increased appetite lately. Since I started separating them and putting them in the tubs, lowering their temperature, trying to get them prepared for breeding season. She has had like at least three definite locks with two different males in the last month or so. So I just had her in this tank just overnight just uh, to give her a break. I actually was thinking that she wanted to get in the big cage and heat up again. But today I'm thinking that probably breeding season for her to ovulate. Oh wow. I've never felt that before, babe. I actually think I feel an egg. I could be wrong. Maybe it was just a weird way she was holding herself, but but she's been bred. She's been locked with a male. Uh, like I said, at least three times that I know of. So. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So this is Scully. This is actually my soulmate. She's been in my collection, my current collection, longer than any other snake that I currently own. Uh, I love her. She's, I've, I've had her for 12 years or so. I always guesstimate that she's 12 or 13 or maybe even 10 years old. 
like I said, I don't really keep records that well. But this is Scully. She did. She's been eating good lately. And I don't know if you can see it. But she... I definitely did feel something a little bit different a minute ago. Anyway, we're going to put her back in a tub. And in about two or three days, I'm going to put a male back in with her. I'm going to continue to do this until I see definite signs of ovulation. And again, I'll say I'm new at this. So, I might miss the ovulation. From what I hear, it only lasts like a day or two. But this is Scully. She's going back in the tub. And in two in a day or two, I'll put a male back in here with her. So, like I said, a lot of people are gonna jump my ass because they see I'm putting boas and ball pythons together and they're gonna give me all kind of shit. Well, I don't really care. I know what I've been doing for the last 30 years and I've I don't have a problem with this. Okay, this is Carmella. Same exact story with Carmella as I just said about Scully. For the last month, maybe even two months, I've been hooking her up, lowering her, lowering her temperatures, hooking her up with males, and I've seen her locked with males you know, at least three times. And I have two different males that I've been alternating. And this one, her appetite has really, really increased in the last month. So we're looking at good chances of ovulation and good chances of having some eggs this year. And if not, we'll try it next year. Uh, she's about, probably, if Scully is... 10 to 12 years old. This one is about 8 to 8 to 10 years old. So she's the one, the second longest one that we've had in our collection. And she's a sweetie pie and just love her. Just love her. So she's going back in the tub. And I will be introducing a male back to her in a couple days. I'll do that and I'll put a mail with her for three or four days. I'll try to monitor and see if I witness a lock. And I will also be monitoring her and Scully for signs of ovulation. So, first time breeding ball pythons. This is our year. If it happens, it happens. And if it don't, it's okay. We love our animals just the way they are. We don't need nothing. We're not trying to force no issues. We're not trying to do nothing. But but I just wanted to give the lowdown on what we're doing. So, so we're going to put her back up here. This is, and here we go. This is Catalina again. She's a rescue. She's got really bad scars. I've had her... I took her in as a rescue oh way over a month maybe even two months ago she still hasn't eaten yet beating that she's a ball python that doesn't really bother me and it'll be feeding time again here in a day or two so we'll see what happens she's healthy she just has some ugly scars so, so anyway okay this is this now, let's see the males real quick. I'm trying to make these videos fast. I don't want nobody to get bored. I try not to repeat myself, but I do. So, but we're just going to take a look at our, our little boys. Really, really quick. They're on break. From breeding as well as I think it's just as important to have them on break as it is to have the females on break so both of these guys this is Eli 
and I'm thinking maybe my males are a little small this year so if breeding and ovulation and egg laying and all that stuff doesn't happen then it's probably because my males aren't quite ready and I don't think it's because of age I think it's more gonna be because of size this guy we've only had him three years maybe even two and a half years this snake was almost dead when I got him I paid forty dollars to somebody that didn't even know what they were doing he was completely infested with mites you couldn't see his eyes I think it would have been a matter of days if I hadn't had him that he would have died he wouldn't have made it he spent a year over a year in quarantine uh, he's had heavy-duty mite treatment uh, but he eats real good now he's uh he's locked up with both of them big girls that I just showed you and he's an awesome little critter so next day or two he'll be he'll be introduced back to the females and like I said we're just gonna see what happens this year And I'm going to be doing tank maintenance and and tank redo and all that stuff here in the next couple days. Hopefully Wednesday or Thursday, even on Thanksgiving Day, we'll be doing a heavy feeding. Which I hope y'all are looking forward to feeding videos because I definitely am. We call this one Randy. As you can see, he's not very tame. He displays the definite dif definition of why they call these things ball pythons. When they get nervous, they ball up into a ball with their head in the middle to protect themselves. He was a rescue that I took in a month, two months ago maybe. He is what they call, or what I'm learning they call, a tiger ball python due to a slight differential in his pattern. But now he has also hooked up with both of our big females that I just showed you. And in a day or two, he will be introduced back to them. I've witnessed the lock between him and Scully and also him and Carmella. So, and he is quite a little bit bigger than Eli, the other male that I just showed you. So hopefully with all the different things that we're trying, we will have some success this year and produce at least one egg and one baby ball python. That is our hope. And if not this year, it'll happen next year. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm not factual. I'm not learned on all this stuff. I'm an animal lover. And I do the best I can with the information that's available to me and it's trial and error and we're gonna do the best we can and I'm, I document this stuff for my friends and for my family but please comment please like please subscribe to my YouTube channel it's only gonna be animal stuff I promise and go Cowboys <laughs>